has helped you or your community this year? Who has gone above and beyond to make a difference helping others? We asked people in New Mexico this question and got an overwhelming response. We received more than 100 nominations, all showing how New Mexico and its people are a kind and giving state. These heroes took action and worked tirelessly to make change to help New Mexicans from all walks of life. For more than 98 years, New Mexico Magazine has been devoted to bringing New Mexico to life by showcasing its unique places, culture, and its people. I'm sure we all can agree that 2020 has been one of the most challenging times, but it has also afforded us the unique opportunity to showcase the many everyday heroes who are making a difference no matter how small. We are pleased to lead and highlight some of the great work being done in our state by these special award recipients. You will see this extraordinary work and how it's reflected in many segments and industries, from healthcare to education, volunteerism, philanthropy, hospitality, the arts, and others. A panel of judges helped New Mexico Magazine choose 10 true heroes to recognize for their exceptional acts of service. Let's take a look at them now. For our final true hero, musical duo Tash Terry and Elena Higgins established the Navajo Nation Black Mountain Relief Fund to provide food and other necessities for 50 families living in a remote area during the coronavirus pandemic. Terry and Higgins organized the donations through their nonprofit Indigenous Ways, which is focused on reaching diverse communities through music and the arts. Being together as a musical international uh, duo taught a great deal in the sense of not only how we could collaborate together as uh, professional musicians, uh, but when we got the board for Indigenous Ways, how important that collective was and what the mission of Indigenous Ways is. Of all those decimated by this pandemic, none have suffered more than the Diné people. For a decade, Indigenous Ways has brought the story of our people to our songs, our broadcasts and our live events. But in this time of the pandemic, performances are not enough. We need to do more. <laughs> Art is the creation uh, gene that we have. We're all born with this gift called creation. And it doesn't matter what we're born into, what world we're born into, what skin color we're born into, what culture we're born into, when we are born, we start creating immediately. And our mind is just open to interpretation, so there are no limitations to where our minds can go. I was raised on this land by my grandmother, beneath the shadow of Black Mountain. It was she who introduced me to the stories of Mother Earth and Father Sky. And, uh, it can really uh, make a statement and art can be used as a platform to have this really beautiful um, flame of love going that can just bring people together in a really good way. And I think that's what art's all about, to learn from each other. We want to acknowledge the traditional caretakers and ancestors of the lands that we reside on here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, dealing with social issues that have impacted communities um, and bringing all the organizations that are dealing with those issues together. And the beautiful thing is, it can be done through art. And so when we look at our evolution as a human species, whatever time that may be, it has been the art um, that has changed ideals and also um, made us uh, better humans.
seeing the work of these heroes can make us all proud to be part of a cause that makes New Mexico a better place. To the 10 individuals New Mexico Magazine and KOB4 are honoring tonight, congratulations. We know that we have been able to just recognize a handful of the individuals who help make our state great. We all know someone who's a hero in their own way. And to everyone who accepts the call of service, no matter how large or small, thank you.